Soy María, María la del Barrio. I am so excited about this movie review right now because it's got a lot of Latino and Mexican representation. And by the way, my name is JC Crisologo and welcome to my show called Spotlight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I hope the um, cancel culture won't accuse me of cultural appropriation because I'm actually part Spanish and part Mexican. So please don't cancel me for singing a Mexican song. Okay. I love you. It's not cultural appropriation. <laughs> so... This Blue Beetle, I really loved it. And don't listen to the haters. Please go out there to watch this movie. Go with your entire family. I love the fact that when I saw this movie, the people right beside me were um, the mom, the dad, the brother, the sister, the dog. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they were all there just laughing with all the scenes that were really so funny and oh my gosh this superhero movie is so funny that they they were saying he was the first person to become a superhero in their family <laughs> so don't you just love that so here we have Jaime Reyes who was a freshly a uh, college uh, student and he was by accident, by fate, given an, an alien scarab, an alien biotechnological scarab that chose him, chose him and turned him into a superhero. So he was out there, you know, chasing and getting the bad guys. And, and the main, main bad guy and the main villain is, was played by no other than Susan Sarandon. I love I really, really love Susan Sarandon in all her movies. She is such an A-lister. And the Blue Beetle was played no less than Jolo Mariduena. That's right. The, the way they spelled is his name is X-O-L-O -O and Mariduena. And also Jorge Lopez is in this movie. He really brought his, his weight. I, I just love... Jorge Lopez, and Bruna Marquezine, and Belisa Escobedo, and uh, Harvey Guillen, and a, a host of other great actors and actresses. Now, so this movie, of course, all of you uh, DC fans know that the DC Universe is produced by Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers has been very problematic lately. I mean... You guys don't make me choose between DC and Marvel because I love them both. It's going to be like Cho Sophie's Choice. But it's just that I noticed that even though I love the DC movie so much by Warner Brothers, it's been really problematic because they've been firing people, firing people that were so iconic, you know, these iconic actors like uh, Hen Henry Cavill, and I believe recently it was uh, Gal Gadot. And it, it's, it's very sad. It's, it's so sad that, um, that Warner Brothers is, is doing this under, uh, under the, um, you know, the directorship or producers, producership of uh, James Gunn and uh, Peter Zafran. And I just, you know, I'm just hoping and, and praying that they uh, get it together so that they'll be able to produce a lot of great, 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 great uh, DC Universe movies out there. And, you know, I, I love the DC. I mean, I love Aquaman. I really, really love that movie. And I'm looking forward to the second uh, Aquaman movie coming out this December. So, going back... To the Blue Beetle, you know, this Blue be Beetle is like the edge of your pants seat kind of a, 
movie. Oh, did I say pan seed? Pan seed in Filipino is actually chow mein. So, no, I didn't mean that. Um, so, okay. <laughs> the edge of your pant seat. That's what I meant. <laughs> okay, you'll be on the edge. And because it's super exciting and there are uh, parts that are really mysterious and oh my gosh you guys will just love it for those of you who, have, who love action superhero movies and and sci-fi and this is for you and i can't wait to see blue beetle and other dc movies in the future and that was all for the first segment of spotlight and please don't move that bat channel because i will be right back with the last segment don't go away. Shopping for a new home is an exciting time, and the mortgage process just got easier. New American Funding's all-digital mortgage application takes all the hassle out of applying for a mortgage. Simply put in your information and we do the rest. Safely and securely verify your income, assets, and tax information electronically. Plus, you get access to track the progress of your application anytime, anywhere. Less questions, less paperwork, less hassle, and instant access. Ready to start shopping for your new home? Let's get started. Traditional TV is going away. Hollywood is starting to fade. People are demanding real stories from real people. Our voices are now being heard in our own way. Podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok Live are becoming the norm. Internet TV has now reached the highest demand in human history. Social Media Shows is now the new media of the century. A mucha honra, Maria la del Barrio soy. And we are still on the subject matter of the Blue Beetle. And welcome back to Spotlight on the last segment of Spotlight. And the Blue Beetle, like I said in the first segment, has a lot of uh, good uh, Mexican representation. And I love the fact that one of my favorite telenovelas, Maria La del Barrio, was featured in just a snippet. Of course, they didn't show the entire telenovela. It was just the main song of the movie because they were trying to compare uh, Jaime Reyes, the, the main character in the movie, to, to Maria La del Barrio. So before I go on any further, this is the time that I shout out to my 
audience, to all you lovers and haters out there who think that I'm not qualified to be here, I love you all just the same. Maybe one day we can have dinner and be friends and hold hands. Oh my gosh, yes, that's going to happen one day. Well, maybe I could only hope. But anyhow, shout out to Tina Lee Ochoa, a.k.a. Poppy. Hi, Poppy from the Philippines. And also Athena from the Philippines and Ellen from the Philippines. Actually, they're just all from one household. And Eva Marie and her little fur baby, Sophia Meatballs. Hello there, and and everyone else who's watching this show just out of curiosity and just observing me top to bottom. I hope my bottom is good for you. Okay, am I good for you? However do you want it. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, this movie was awesome. It was adventurous. It, it was packed with a lot of action scenes. But it was so charming and in endearing. Um, and this is the part that I say that one of uh, the funniest characters in the movie and, and the most endearing character is Nana Reyes, played by Adriana Barraza. So she plays the, the granny in this movie. And then later on, her role shifted in the middle of the movie. It turned out that she was in the in a vigilante group in, in back in, in Mexico and she knew how to hold a machine gun. And it's so funny because you see this granny holding an alien machine gun, shooting up every all the bad guys. So that that alone is worth the price of admission. She is such a phenomenal actress and she really brought the house down <laughs> you guys should see it i mean no no words can describe what i saw on screen i mean it if just for that i want to watch this movie over and over and over again so please go out there and um watch this movie and that is it for my movie review of uh the Blue Beetle. I almost said Beetlejuice. No, this is not Beetlejuice. It's the Blue Beetle. Hence the blue that I'm wearing. Okay. And um, what else is there? Okay. So, I leave you now with my tagline. I'm going to have two taglines right now. So, if you're on a diet, don't forget to eat your celery because it's the vegetable that eats you. And I'm also going to borrow... A one of my favorite taglines from my old show, Fab Life, that your best fashion accessory is your self-confidence. And remember, because you have self-confidence, you don't need to put others down. Bye!